You're chilling, man. What's, up, What's going boy? on, dog? Easy jazz. It's always good seeing you. Life after the hustle. How's it been, bro? I even forgot we were on that show. Yeah, bro. I also forgot that we were on the hustle, dog. Do you still remember on the hustle? Yeah, I still remember that show, dog. But life has been crazy after since, yeah. dog, right? <laughs> How's it been for you, dirty dogs? Hey, man. V Entertainment hey, presenting man. the life. Hey, man. Nah, you know? it's, it's been cool, dog. I mean, we were given, like, a dope, a dope opportunity. Absolutely. And we always said that it wasn't even about, like, the show itself, it was what we do with it after, after you know? the show, word. And word, yeah, word. dog, things have been crazy. The features, you know, yeah. out here now. That call, you know, you open up that J. Hey, Cole. Hey, J. Cole. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, 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 I think I think that was honestly like hands down. The like, highlight. Yeah, the highlight no for doubt, me, bro. Yeah. Just not because it's like opening for J. Cole, but yeah. it's it's the guy you Tristies, look up to, you know Tristies, what I'm saying? Yeah, that was great. Opening up for J. Cole, V Entertainment, it's just, you know, being and better. But you know what I say? The, yeah. the weirdest thing is is that before you get on, mm. can't afford shit. Nothing. And then when you get on, then you get shit for free. <laughs> then you're like, why are you giving me this now? Yeah, you know what now I'm saying? I can like, afford it. Now yeah. you're trying to holler it. But it's weird. I mean, you know, you know how it feels, bro. You have to, you get used to it. Um, being signed where it's indie, bro. You're signed. I'm indie. Yeah, dog, I think I think there's pros and cons, you know what I'm saying, honestly, to signing, you know what I'm saying. Mm. Obviously, the financial backing is there, uh, as well as not having to deal with everything by yourself, bro, mm. you know? Like, I look at you right now, and I'm like, props, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The fact that you're carrying everything. Word. How do you even still focus on the music, music bro, word. you know? Um, but obviously, as well, there's, there's a lot of voices. You know, those are some of the cons. There's a lot of voices, there's a lot of people directing your path as opposed mm. to you directing yeah. it yourself. You know, you always got to fight for your way. You know what I'm saying? But it, 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 it does end up feeling like a family, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. And, and that's always a good space to be working in, dog. And what about I, I, just, I just feel like, man, like, if you've been, like, hungry and struggling for so long, sure. and then you get to a point where someone says to you, yo, we need a split this sure. a certain percentage sure. that you're not sure. happy with. It's like, sure. man, where were you when I was like starving, bro? Mm. And now all of a sudden, mm. you know, so, mm. but also, I mean, like, it's just, it's just the team. I feel like, especially in like 2016, I feel like the social media and, and the kids are the Absolutely. new labels, you know what I'm saying? The, the kids who are listening to you now are, are gonna be the reason that you go platinum in like five, 10 years. Tristies. I feel like, you know, it is like pros and cons, but I feel like in 2016, we don't even need labels anymore. I feel, I feel this is like, Oh, hey, you know, back then, bro, yeah, it's like a yeah. different ball game. But right now, bro, the biggest artists in the world are, are like independent. Are in the end. And that, that, that you know? check is going straight to them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah.